This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Hey, welcome to Starcade, and here we are backstage. Our players are warming up, and well they should, because the one who outscores the other is going to have a chance to win his very own video arcade game. Okay, warm-up time is over. You guys ready to play Starcade? Let's go do it. Here we go. Thank you, studio audience. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you here at home. This is a place where it all happens. Here's our contestants. Let's meet them right now. Your name, please? Steve. Steve what? Steve Drake. Steve what? Drake. Steve Drake. Okay, Steve, what do you do for a living? Well, I work in a design studio in Cupertino running the paint department. All right, fine. I understood you were also a rock musician. Right. I play in a group called Various Others. Good. Sounds like a good group. I hope you're successful with it. hope you're successful today. And on my left, we have... Sean Kovacs. Sean, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? I'm um, a cook. Yeah, what do you cook? Hamburgers. <laughs> All right, short order cook. You're also a disc jockey once a week? Uh, yeah. Well, Steve says if uh, he wins, you have to play his records. No problem. Okay, yeah. shake hands. You go. Oh, wait, before I you shake hands, I want to remind everybody that the two of these players have been matched up based on their ability on playing today's games, and one of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Amidar today. <laughs> now shake hands and let's play arcade. To the podiums, good luck to both of you. While our players go to the podiums, Kevin, my friend, how about telling us what five games we're going to be playing today? Okay, game number one is Gyrus, a perilous quest for home. Game two today, Mappy, a bouncing mouse. Game three today is Munchmobile, a game of reaching out. Number four is Journey, a rocky adventure. And in slot five, Burger Time, a run to build a burger. Jeff? Thanks a lot. We have some good games today. Now, those are today's five games. Both of you have had a chance to play them before today's show. I'll remind you that one of these games is today's mystery game. If you pick that game in the first three uh, games, you're going to win a valuable prize. And Kevin, right now, will tell our at-home audience what the mystery game is. Today's mystery game is Burger Time. Thank you, Mr. Whisper. All right, now I'm going to ask you a question. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly. You pick the first game to play. Miss it, your opponent picks. Here's the question. Which of the insects replenish the mushroom supply in the game Centipede? A, fleas, B, spiders. Steve. Fleas. Fleas is right. Good for you. <laughs> you get your choice. We have five games up there. Which game do you want to play first? Oh, I think we'll try Gyrus. Gyrus. Oh, I love that game. The music from that is <laughs> tremendous. It's Bach, you know, the music I, in that I game. I noticed it was something from that era. <laughs> I, th I thought you were. All right, Kevin, explain Gyrus to us. It is black and cold, and we long only for Earth, almost three billion miles away. Then suddenly from the blackness comes a distant glow, a speck of light in the center of the universe, and they are upon us again, the forces of the evil Idioclan Empire. We can only dodge and fire, destroying those we can, as we continue our journey back, back to Earth and home and light, back aboard the only thing we now call home, the spaceship Gyrus. Okay, Steve, Gyrus it is. It's a wild game. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, the, we listen to the music. That's good music. But uh, all I can tell you about this game, I guess, and uh, Steve, I don't know if this will help you either, but uh, is just fire as hard as and fast as you can and don't get hit. No, I'll try not to. All right, you have 50 seconds. Get ready get to play. When I say go, ready, get set, go. Okay. One more coming up. Here you go. 30 seconds. You got another coming up? Don't get hit. Look out. Oh, they got you again. 2,050. That's the amount of uh, jets you get or rockets you get. 2,050. How do you feel about that? Well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. That's the way that's it goes. Right. That's the way it went. Okay, thanks a lot, Steve. Let's see how Sean does. Come on down, Sean. <laughs> now, you saw what happened to Steve. Uh, he, got, he got hit a couple of times. You've got to watch out for that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you ready to play? Yep. All right, turn around. I'll tell you when to play. Get ready. 
Get set, play. <laughs> $3,950. Really good, I think. You happy with that? Yeah. Well, you should be. Let's check the whole score here. Steve, $2,050. Sean, $3,950. And we'll be right back to find out who chooses the next game on Star Tier. We'll be right back. The grand prize today on Star Cade is the video arcade game. Amidar. It's pigs and paint rollers, gorillas and warriors, a zany wild chase for space in the game of Amidar, furnished by Stern Electronics. And now, back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Steve and Sean, we had a slight hitch just before the commercial. What happened was the monitor we have out here froze your score when you still had seven seconds of playing time. So actually, I awarded you less points, Sean, than you actually got. So let's now check the official scores as they now stand. Steve, you have... 2,050 points, and Sean, you are sitting with 4,150 points. All right. Now, Sean, uh, you're in the lead, obviously, but there's still one more game to be played in this round, Steve, and the total score in both games will determine who gets to play the Name the Game board. Steve, once again, uh, you're going to want to choose a game if you can here and get the game and give you the most points because you're a little bit behind. Both have a chance at it, though. Hands on buzzers. In Mousetrap, when a cat gets too close, the mouse can defend himself by eating a bone and changing into a A, dog, or B, yes, Sean. Dog. dog, right you are. Okay, you got it. We have four games left. One of them's a mystery game that hadn't been picked yet, so pick a game and good luck. Um, Munchmobile. Munchmobile. Munchmobile it is. Kevin, would you tell us about Munchmobile? You're cruising along the highway, grabbing up passing edibles like fruit and fish and an occasional dollar, and being a good guy at the same time by dropping the leavings in nearby trash cans. Run fast and hard as you eat up fuel on your way home to the safety of your very own garage, fat and happy. It's Munchmobile. Jeff? Thank you, Kevin. Sean, Munchmobile is a little tougher than it looks, I think. Yeah, it is, but... I'll handle them, sure. Okay, good enough. Uh, be careful. Stay on the road while you're picking up the fruit and things, and uh, wish you good luck. You have 50 seconds to play the game. If you turn around and get ready, right hand is a hand control, left is a car control. Ready? Good, set, play. There you go. Look it up. Ah, oh, good. Whoops, missed it. Missed it. Oh, there you go. Good. Drop the trash. Nice going. Staying on the road. Oh, you know what you're doing. Ooh, just missed. And off the road. Let get another shot at it here. 25 seconds. 22 seconds. Here we go. Crash. May have time to get another point. We'll find out. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. No, no more time. All right, let's check the score. I don't. Oh, there it is. 2,230. I believe I lost the score here in the monitor, but we'll make sure. 2,230. Okay, not bad, Sean. Nice driving to Munchmobile. Head on back. Let's see how Steve does in Munchmobile. Come on, Steve. Now you saw what he did with the Munchmobile. You got any particular strategy? Boy, just to try to keep uh, keep doing the best I can. I got some catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. And stay on the road. You have 50 seconds, just like Sean did. Okay, Steve, turn around. Right hand's a hand control. Left hand's a car control. Ready? Get set. Play. A little too fast. Oh, and off 
off the road. Another much reveal coming up. 40 seconds left. Here we go. There you got it. Good. And off the road. Another much reveal coming up. Careful now. Be sure and stay on that road. 28 seconds, 27 seconds. Here we go. Oh, off the road again. I think that may do it for you. No, you're going to get another shot at it. Here we go. 15 seconds. <laughs> Pretty tough. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 80 points. What happened to you there, Steve? Well, all I can say is I hope when I drive home today I can do better than I did here. <laughs> I hope so too. Head on back because we have some business to take care of, and that business is to find out who's going to play Name the Game. You both had a chance to play Gyrus and Munchmobile, and now one of you is going to play for a very special prize. So let's total up the score from both games to see who's going to play Name the Game. Steve, you have 2,130 points. Sean, you have 6,380 points. Obviously, you are in the lead. Congratulations to you. Come on down here. We'll play the name of the game board. If you'll stand right there. All right, good enough. Now, what we're going to do is uh, let you turn around in just a few moments. Behind you is the name of the game board, and we're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win some fantastic prizes, and Kevin is going to tell you about them. Sean, for three correct answers, you'll win Mr. Disc, a compact, personal, portable phonograph no bigger than a man's shoe. Plays 45s and LPs from its own self-contained batteries, Mr. Disc. And for four correct answers, it's Sysis, Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sysis provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sysis. Okay, Sean, you, uh, you know your video games pretty well, you think? Uh, most of them. Most of them. Well, let's hope we have the most of the ones that you know most of right here behind you. Turn around, take a look at our Name the Game board. Now move over here to the left because we want to make sure that we get a picture of the board. Right, right there, if you will, please. That's just going to be fine. Up in the upper left-hand corner, is that Galia or Solar Fox? Galaga. Galaga. Okay, fine. You're right. I mispronounced it. You got it right. Is the next one Gorf or Space Invaders? Space Invaders. Right, you are doing fine. Is this... Sinistar or Space Duel? Space Duel. Right, you are doing fine. One more for the big prize. Tempest or Liberator? Tempest. Tempest is right, and you got it. You've got the Sysis chest. Good for you. You're a chess player? Yes, I am. Oh, then you're going to love that prize. Right now, we're going to take a break. In a minute, we'll be back to play the final round, and we'll see you as a chance to win your own video arcade game. Nice go. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. 1978, Japan, Space Invaders is introduced for the first time. In the next two years, over 300,000 of these games would find their way to the public all around the world, over 100,000 of them in the U.S. alone. In Japan, the game became such a hit that arcades were open that had no other game but Space Invaders. And the game is still played literally thousands of times every day around the world. Well, no Space Invaders today, but plenty other exciting games on Starcade with Jeff Edwards. All right, you are. Have some good games. We're right now at round number two, Steve and Sean. This is the big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we'll total up all the scores, and the top scorer on all games is going to get a chance to win the video arcade game, Emidar. So, Sean, what you hope, of course, is you keep going the way you've been going. Steve, what you have to hope is that a light falls on Sean and destroys it. <laughs> okay, here's your final question. Let's take a look. Good luck to both of you. In Tempest, when you shoot a tanker, it turns into two A, spikers, or B, flippers. Steve. Flippers. Flippers is right. Good for you. Okay, an important point here. Pick a game in which you can score points, because you need points. And by the way, the mystery game is still up there. So what game do you want to play? We have Burger Time, Journey, and Mappy. Oh, why don't we try Burger Time? Burger Time. Hey. That's it. That's the mystery game. Well, you sure made the right choice as far as the prizes went, because you picked the mystery game, and Kevin's going to tell you what you won. Steve, you've won these Parker Brothers home video game cartridges. Based on popular arcade games, exciting movie themes, and comic book adventures, the challenge awaits you, furnished by Parker Brothers. Okay, and of course, you have picked Burger Time. That's a particularly fun game to play. Kevin, how much fun can you have playing it? 
you can have a great time on Burger Time helping Chef Peter Pepper collecting patties, cheese, lettuce, and buns. For bonus points, catch the pursuing hot dog, egg, and pickle in the burger. And if you can't catch them, immobilize them briefly by shaking pepper their way. Complete a burger on the, on the platter and feast on your success. It's Burger Time. Okay, Steve, you pick Burger Time. Burger Time it is. You feel confident in this game? Well, a little more than the last one. Good. You need the points. Now, uh, what you want to do for sure is uh, if, you, if you catch the pickle or the egg or the pepper in the, hot uh, in the burger, you'll get bonus points. So, and use your pepper because you only have 40 seconds, so you might as well use it up. That'll help you. Okay. Okay. Wish you good luck. 40 seconds to go. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Peter Pepper's coming up. There you go. Look out. Look out. Good move. Three Peppers left. You're throwing your pepper, but you're not throwing it at anybody. Hey, you caught that one. That's good. Hey, look out. No more Peppers left. Points. Good enough. Way to go. You're, you're throwing your pepper in the wrong direction a couple of times. What the heck? Okay, Steve, head on back. Sean, come on up here. Let's see how you do. Here comes Sean. Here we go. Now, this is Steve's game. He picked burger time. We had a little bit of trouble, and we're going to wish you good luck and see how you do. You feel confident? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, turn around. You'll have 40 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. Good start. Start it right off. Heading to the top. That's the place to play. Whoops. Use the pepper. Good for you. Three notes. Good for that. Caught the egg. Fifteen seconds. Good move. Ten seconds. Almost got him. Look out. Oh, right. Very good. 2,750. You are one heck of a game player. Head on back, and we're going to find out right now who's going to have a shot at the video arcade game, Amador. Let's check the final score. Steve, you had 2,630. Sean, you end up with 9,130. Obviously, you're the winner. Congratulations to you. Play a good game. Steve, I hope you had a good time. Oh, I had a good time. Good. Go good. practice a little. <laughs> good luck to you and the rock group, various others, and uh, we hope you do fine. You had uh, the prize from, uh, from picking the mystery game, so right. we'll send you home with that, and thanks for being Thank with you. us on the game. Okay. Bet. And you, you son of a gun, you cook burgers anyway. No wonder you did so well on, yeah, uh, on burger so. time. Okay. <laughs> You've also won something else because you're winner for the day, and Kevin will tell you what it is. It's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Monitor for education, home finance, and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Monitor from Texas Instruments. And we'll be back in just a few moments to find out if Sean can take him at our home with him. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux hotel in the European tradition, one block from Union Square in San Francisco. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Elite, the high-performance joystick from Electra Concepts with select sensitivity settings, rapid-fire bar, five-year guarantee, and more. Your video system's complete with Trigger Elite. And from UMI, Word Feud, the competitive word search game that involves the whole family. It's irresistible fun for everyone. UMI software for family home entertainment, Word Feud from UMI. And electronic fun with computers and games, the magazine of the computer age. Easy to read, witty, and informative. It's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. 
Thank you. Welcome back to Star Arcade. And now, Sean, here's the big challenge. This is a chance to win your own video arcade game. There's still two games left unplayed, Journey and Mappy. Now, during the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Journey, you'd have to score at least 4,939 points. If you picked Mappy, you'd have to score at least 2,123 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who play these very same games. Now, I understand you reached your decision and you picked Mappy. Is that right? Yep. Okay, why Mappy? I've played a couple more times than Journey. I've only played Journey once. So. All right. That means if uh, with Mappy, if you score 2,123 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win this Amador. Now, while our own cat burglar Kevin tells us about Mappy, let's you and I go over and get ready to see if you can win a game here. This game is full of cat burglars. Real cats, that is. There's only one Mappy, a mouse, of course, to save the valuables. He runs around on his little legs, collecting the goodies, bouncing to higher levels, bopping the cats by opening and closing doors in their faces, some of the doors releasing waves to bop them. He's just a little guy, that is, a, a little mouse, but Mappy does a mighty job. Okay, there's several ways of scoring points here. As you know, you have to score 2,123 of them in 30 seconds. Any particular strategy you have? Um, nope. <laughs> you want to yell help, don't you? Kind of, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to wish you good luck because if you do it, 2,123 points in 30 seconds, you're going to have Amadar to take home with you. So right. turn around and get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> For 2,123 points. Good move. 720 so far. Watch it. All right. Open the door. Got it open. Whoa, look out. 15 seconds. Look out. 1,350. Going good. Nine seconds. Great, great. You did it. That's it. You hit it. And you still have four or five seconds to go. You have 3,380. You need a 2,123. You've won your own Congratulations to you, Sean. Good for you. Here come some of your friends to congratulate you. Thank you, studio audience. Thanks for being with us. You were terrific. And thank you at home. This is Jeff Edwards. I'll see you on the next game when we have some more wild video games for everybody to play. Video arcade games. Until then, this is Jeff saying, hope all your troubles get set. Bye-bye. For more information about Starcade, visit www.starcade.tv and g4tv.com slash Starcade. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.